I continue to be alarmed about extremist settlers attacking Palestinians in the West Bank. Hello, Mr. President. We in Israel hear that you're alarmed by the extremist settlers attacking innocent Palestinians, leading to your decision to temporarily hold back the shipment of rifles to our country. And we would like to ask you one single question. Could you kindly provide a name, one name, of an innocent Palestinian Arab who lost their life in a premeditated attack carried out by a Jewish settler? I'm not referring to Palestinians killed while attempting to harm Jews, but rather a case where a settler deliberately left his home with the intention of killing a Palestinian. One name. From the beginning of this year. How about in the year 2022? 2021? 2020? 2019? 2018? 2017? Not even one incident, sir. Now let's look at the Jews that were intentionally slaughtered by those you worry about so much from the beginning of this year alone. February 26, two Jewish brothers on their way back home were fatally shot point blank in the murderous town of Hawala. Sweets were handed out the next day in the Palestinian streets. April 7th, a mother and two of her daughters were shot to death while driving to a vacation. Not one condemnation coming out from the innocent Palestinian society. May 30th, the father of two was shot to death in his car. July 20th, four Jews were murdered in a gasoline station near the ancient Jewish village of Eli. The terrorist family were subsequently added to the Palestinian authorities' payroll. August 19th, the father and his son were shot to death in the murderous town of Hawara turning the perpetrators into heroes within their community. August 21st, the mother of three was murdered in front of one of her daughters and celebrations followed in the innocent Palestinian society. According to the official Israeli government site, in January 2023, there were 187 attacks against Jews in Judea and Samaria alone, 157 terror attacks in February, 183 in March, April, 147 terror attacks against real innocent civilians. Add to these figures dozens more casualties within the Green Line up to October 7th and hundreds more beyond and it's impossible not to see a clear picture. Mr. President, if giving the opportunity, the Arabs surrounding the Jewish settlements would slaughter our children, rape our wives, exactly like they did to us in the Gaza border, and we don't need another October 7th to prove it. With all due respect, Mr. President, but your characterization of the righteous Jews of Judea and Samaria as violent and notorious people is nothing less than another blood libel against the Jewish people and is a very big moral stain.